Chicago Blackhawks chairman Rocky Words was remembered today at a public memorial service at the United Center. WGN's Brona Tumulty has more on how former players and fans paid their respects. Good evening, guys. Rocky Wirtz is largely credited as the man who turned things around for the Chicago Blackhawks. Today, his family, friends, and a whole lot of fans turning up to say thanks. A public memorial getting underway today at the United Center for Rocky Wirtz, who wasn't just the person who led the Chicago Blackhawks, but a devoted family man as well. Boy, he loved his kids, all of you, obviously, and the grandkids. 70-year-old dad of four and grandfather of six died quite suddenly a couple of weeks back, reportedly following a brief illness. Today, former players remembered him. Well, I've never been this nervous to be inside the United Center on this, this ice sheet, so. Sharing stories. Rocky made us players feel like we were in this together. It was never him being an owner and us being players. And explaining how Rocky shaped their lives both on and off the ice. I have continued to use the important rest lesson Rocky taught me. Have a vision, stay true to your word, and treat people with respect. Some addressing the way in which he turned this whole franchise around after taking over from his father as chairman in 2007. Not long before he took over, the Blackhawks were named the worst franchise, not in hockey, in all of sports. That's what he took over. But immediately, he started doing the right things the right way. Fans outside the arena in total agreement. Well, when I was a little kid, we used to watch it on WGN. We used to get that channel. I grew up in central Illinois, and just the excitement of the games, and I just like hockey as a sport. Jeff Berta telling us he's been behind the Blackhawks for a lifetime, as has Teddy Anderson. He's a ticket holder for so many years, doing the playoff, you know, runs and everything, and it's sad to see, you know, Mr. Worth gone. So. And Johnny Burke's been here for decades as well. I've been a season ticket holder for over 40 years. So, yeah, I, I've been through all the changes, and now we're on the upswing, and mainly because of Rocky. When Rocky took over, he got the games on television, making things so much more accessible and attracting a new legion of fans like Eric Snickers. Around 2011, 2012 was when I picked up. Drawn in by that big Stanley Cup win in 2010, with two more right after it in 2013 and 2015. A fun game, and I'm glad the Hawks were able to put out a good product at that time. Chuck Cook telling us Wirtz made a world of difference and will undoubtedly be missed by many. I had actually left uh, my drop my tickets at one point, and uh, and what he did inside you know, inspired me to come back. Championships belong in Chicago. So to the Blackhawks, thank you for bringing them back home. To the best city in the world, to the greatest fans in the world, and the greatest team in the world. Thank you very much. Now it's understood Rocky's son Danny will very likely be the one to take the reins and lead the team into a new era. We're at the United Center, Bruno Tumulty. WGN News.